Conventional thinking is incredibly deep-seated, incredibly powerful. Conventional thinking about how to power up in the face of the big challenges. You've been mentored, and I would bet that many of us are mentoring others that when you're faced with a big challenge, don't try to boil the ocean. Have you heard yourself say those words? Have you heard others say those words, especially in the boardroom? Let's not try to boil the ocean. But when you're dealing with a big multi-dimensional challenge, what option do you have but to boil the ocean? We've been taught, and we may be teaching others, that when it comes to the big challenges, the biggest brains win. Whether we have them internally or whether we have to summon them externally, get the biggest brains on this thing. Well, if you just look inside the room, never mind the industry, never mind our partners, is there any shortage of brain power? In fact, brain power is completely abundant, and yet many of these challenges persist. So there's got to be more to it than just needing really good brain power. We've been conditioned to expect anytime we're up against a big challenge like transformation or digital or entering a new therapeutic area or going from fourth to first, that's going to be a long cycle. It's going to take time. It's going to take a long time. Sometimes you got to go slow to go fast. And in fact, sometimes you do have to go, to sl go slow to go fast. The problem is with many of our challenges, we don't have the luxury of going slow to go fast anymore. We have to go fast in going slow to go fast. We're also told, and I've said this many times, when it comes to big problems, there are no silver bullets when in fact we have to start believing that there is a silver bullet.